I wanted to show that with the help of a few people, we can make big changes in a city or in the world. Cartagena, the pearl of the Colombian Caribbean, attracts over two million tourists a year, and that number is on the rise. Visitors are drawn to this legendary city, with its colorful Andalusian facades and its ramparts. But to add to the city's attractions, some people have come up with an original idea. One such person is Camilo Galliano. To find out what that idea is, we need to sail off the coast of Cartagena. We are in Boca Chica. We are leaving Cartagena for the island of Baru. We are heading for the Cienaga de los Vasquez in Baru. We are 10 minutes away. We're really close. It's over there. It is in the deep blue sea that we must look for the rather crazy project devised by Camilo, the director and founder of the Sea Museum, Muma. We have arrived at Cartagena's underwater museum, Muma. There were already two submerged tugboats here. That's why I chose this place, because there was already an interesting context for showing works underwater. Given that two ships had already sunk here, it was easier to get authorization from the government to set up our museum. I realized how important this place was because it's a must-see for divers in Cartagena. So it was the perfect place to set up this museum. I have always had a good relationship with the sea. After my studies, I realized that the reefs were essential for producing the oxygen we need to live on this earth. About 70% of our oxygen is produced by the reefs, and I wanted to make a contribution to the world by creating artificial reefs. What we wanted to do was create an artificial reef to generate oxygen in order to improve the environment in Cartagena and the rest of the world. The idea was to do this for the planet and to be recognized by the United Nations. To set up this underwater museum, which offers divers the chance to discover submerged works of art, Camilo spent three years honing his project and finally managed to get the authorization he needed to bring it to fruition. A competition was organized to choose the first artist. Herman Botero won it and made five sculptures out of wood and concrete. The artist I selected for the museum made a work called Garden of Jellyfish. It consists of five pieces of treated wood. The wood is treated naturally from pieces that fall from the land into the rivers. They go down river and get treated with water as they flow down to the sea, where they continue to acquire a patina. Then, the sea washes them up on the beach. Once they had been created, the works had to be carefully transported and submerged to avoid damaging them. They will serve as a refuge for fish and a prop for underwater flora. The works mustn't move. They need to be as fixed as possible. Obviously, that's very difficult in the sea because of the wash. But I have examined the works and made a few minor modifications 
so that they move as little as possible. We have also weighed them down with more concrete, reduced the height a bit and cut into the branches. Today, we are going to see what state the works are in. I have always wanted to help my city. I have a foundation known as the Color Blue Foundation. It was set up in conjunction with a project called Idea of the City. I wanted to show that with the help of a few people, we can make big changes in a city or in the world. That's great. The works are in perfect condition. I'm impressed. They are in place and full of life. They are perfect. It's incredible. It makes me smile. They haven't moved at all. They are exactly where we put them. The plaque is still in place, in the center of the works. This plaque thanks all the people who helped us. They are in much better shape than I was expecting. It's even better than I hoped. Every time I see them, I'm impressed. We are really lucky. Visibility underwater in the first few meters wasn't very good. But on the seabed, it was much better. <laughs> Since its first year, Muma has been visited by 20,000 divers who have been seduced by this artistic and ecological initiative. My dream is for a large part of the seabed in this area to be covered by works of art. Obviously, there's a process that has to be gone through, and in Colombia, it's not that easy. But we are working constantly to see more works submerged, and we are on track, God willing. The response has been very positive, even from the inhabitants of Cartagena. People are aware of the work that the Color Blue Foundation is doing, and they love this initiative.